I'm back again with another video and today's video uh, the topic that we'll be discussing today's video is comparing the different uh, types of solar inverted technologies that you have available to you uh, solar energy is uh, becoming more and more affordable day by day uh, the best uh, thing about it is it allows you to convert sunlight uh, into useful energy so you basically what you're doing is you're putting solar panels on your rooftop and converting them into clean electricity uh, without any um, carbon uh, footprint at all uh, so in today's uh, video uh, what we'll do is we'll look at the different solar inverted technologies that are available right now the three most common uh, solar uh, inverters now let's uh, let's jump into it the three types of solar inverters. The first type is called the uh, string inverter. Okay, uh, we will be discussing each of these three types in detail. Uh, let's just uh, go through the names of the th three types that we have, and then we'll uh, go into detail of each type. And then you have the micro inverter, and then you have the power optimizer. Okay, now let's first look at the string inverter okay now uh, string inverters uh, are the most cost effective inverter technology available right now uh, so the installation companies would uh, generally offer your system with a string inverter if your roof is not shaded at any point in the day and if it does not face uh, multiple directions right now uh, if you look at the figure on the left you see how the panels are connected, interconnected together? Uh, these are what they call strings. So the, the panels are arranged into groups called strings. Now each panel is connected to a single inverter. Okay. Now uh, we can have five, ten, as many inverters as you want uh, connected into one string, and then that one string is connected to a single inverter, which transforms the uh, DC electricity produced by the panels into appliance friendly AC uh, electricity or AC current. Now string uh, inverter technology has been used for decades. Okay? It's a tried and tested uh, technology, but it's not suitable for all types of uh, installations. Okay? Now it does have a drawback. Uh, the, the string uh, of a panel would only produce as much electricity as its least productive panel. So the weakest link. Okay. So if uh, one panel is producing less electricity, the whole string would reduce itself down to that level. Okay. Now, uh, why would that happen? Now, if say, for example, if one of your solar panels is shaded during any part of the day, uh, if you have a long uh, strip of panels and during you know, part of the day, uh, one part of this long string of panels gets shaded for whatever is from a tree or from another building, that is going to impact the uh, production of electricity for the whole string. Okay. Now, like I said, uh, the, the entire string, the power output for the entire string is reduced to the lowest level. Okay. For this reason, if your solar panels are uh, installed facing different directions, a string inverter may not be a good choice because what's going to happen is some of the panels are going to be uh, lit up by the sunlight during one part of the day and the, the other panels may, may, may not be getting that much light. Now, because they're producing less, the, the ones that are producing less light, sunlight are producing less, the whole uh, string uh, output gets reduced okay um, one of the main common reasons for panels to produce less power or stop producing power altogether like i said is uh, shading from nearby objects okay so uh you know the building is where uh, you know this casting is uh, shadow on your panels or there's a tree so you have to install these panels where there is no uh, shadow and you have to make sure that all the panels are completely exposed to sunlight throughout the day okay or maximum part of the day uh, to get the maximum output from your from the panels okay so that's 
uh, essentially what a string inverter does. So they, like I said, it's, 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 it's an old technology, it's tried and tested, it's the cheapest, uh, most cost effective inverted technology, but it has its drawbacks. Now, if you want to have a more sophisticated system, then you would go for a micro inverter. Now, if you look at the figure on the, le uh, you know, on the left side, you see inverters with each panel, okay? Now these, uh, the micro inverters, to be more expensive than the string inverters okay now that's quite obvious okay because micro inverters are installed at each individual panel okay so basically what's happening is each panel is on its own you have not uh, strung them into a string like we did in the string uh, string inverters here each panel is working on its own so if uh, um, you know the one panel, panel one is is getting shaded. Panel two, three, four, they are working at full speed, okay? At full pull output. And what they do is, um, they, uh, the microinverters are basically converting uh, the DC produced from these panels into AC right on your roof uh, at each panel level, okay? So there's no uh, need for a, a separate central inverter that like you do in a, in a string inverter. Uh, like I have already said, uh, the, the big uh, major advantage is that they cancel out any negative impacts of partial or, or complete shading. Okay. Now, because that AC to uh, so DC to AC conversion takes place at each panel, there's no bottleneck. Okay, there's no bottleneck when one of the panel uh, production dec decreases. The micro inverters allow you to monitor the performance also for individual uh, panels. And if you have, say, 10 panels on your roof, three are, you know, uh, are shaded because the shadow of a tree or the nearby building is falling in, the rest of the seven are still producing at full uh, capacity, as opposed to in the previous uh, case, in the string uh, inverters, if three out of 10 was shaded, then the whole uh, output of the whole system goes down, okay? In this case, the three that are shaded are producing less, the seven which are, which are not shaded are producing more. So you get uh, more output from a micro uh, inverter. But the drawback is it, it, it tends to be more expensive because if you think about it, you are putting an inverter at each panel instead of just having one central inverter you have inverters at each panel. So the, 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 the cost tends to go up, uh, but the output also uh, goes up if, they, you know, if, you, if uh, they're shading, uh, if there's uh, shadow, buildings that you know, cast a shadow on your panels, or there are trees, nearby trees that will tend to cast a shadow on some of your panels, okay? So that's uh, your microinverters. Now there is a third type, which is called a power optimizer, okay? Now uh, we've talked about the string, we've talked about the uh, the, uh, the micro inverters. There's another type called the um, power optimizers. And essentially the power optimizer, what it does is it tends to offer you know, pretty much the same benefits that a micro inverter does, but tend to be less expensive, okay? Uh, power optimizers, are, you know, basically it's a, it's, a, it's a compromise between the more expensive, uh, Microinverters and the the cheap uh, standard string inverters is is like it's, you know, it's a compromise between the two uh, two extremes. Uh, now in, in microinverters, uh, power optimizers are at each uh, inside like like power uh, microinverters, the power optimizers are at each panel. They're usually integrated into the panel, just like you know uh, we, we talked about the microinverters. We have a microinverter either attached to a panel or built into a panel. Uh, similarly, power optimizers are at each panel level and they are you know, usually built into the panel itself, okay? Now, uh, what they do is, here's where they are different from, uh, uh, you know, from the, uh, from the micro uh, inverters, that they don't convert uh, DC into, let's say, the panel level. Basically, what they call is, they condition the DC electricity and send it to a string inverter. Now, what do we mean by uh, conditioning? Basically, 
I will be doing another video on this uh, later on uh, in a couple of days. Uh, what, what we mean by conditioning. Essentially, what you need to do is uh, to, you're trying to get the maximum power output from the, the, the panels. Now, the power that's produced is the product of your current and your voltage. So what you have to do is you have to, uh, when the, the voltage drops, you want to increase the current. If the current, you know, if the voltage goes up, you need to decrease and you need to have them at the optimum level. So what power optimizers do is they try to optimize the current voltage relationship. Okay, that's what they call the, that's what we mean when they condition the DC electricity. And after doing that, they send it off uh, to a, a string inverter. Okay, now, uh, similar to microinverters, uh, power optimizers uh, tend to reduce uh, the, the impact of panel shading because what happens is uh, if, uh, if you have 10 panels, three are shaded, seven are not, so seven are producing at full load, uh, full capacity, the three that are not, they are, the, the output is optimized. So it does not, uh, though these three do not bring down the seven which are not, uh, which are not shaded, okay? Uh, they also tend to uh, offer panel performance monitoring and uh, these uh, power optimizers, uh, optimizer systems tend to be more affordable than the micro inverters, uh, but tend to be more expensive than the string inverters. So if you are, say for example, in a, in a home situation where you have, uh, you're putting on the, on the rooftop uh, and you have got trees or buildings uh, around you which may cast a shadow. So for those options, you might wanna go with a micro inverter or a uh, micro uh, power optimizer. But if you're living, if you're, if you're on a farm and you have uh, an open field that we, where you can install these panels, you could get away with uh, using string inverters because then, uh, you know, they're not, if, and if provided there are no trees around which will cast a shadow on those uh, panels. So if you have a clear field, you could get away with uh, the cheaper option of a string inverter and still uh, get as much power out of them. So that was the, the three uh, basic types of uh, uh, solar power inverters that we have uh, in use these days. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please kindly subscribe. Thank you.